so here we are at the end of what seems to be an old impasse, old like the past 10 years. This is weird. We're way out of the tether in the Hathaway Preserve, which is like the twilight zone of Kingston Preserves. And we come across this strange crossing contraption in what is presumably a part of the Jones River. There's actually an iron, a steel rail rail from a train that they must have hauled down here somehow at some time. It's a real interesting little feature and it's embedded in ancient concrete on one end. Then you have utterly flimsy two by fours that are cleated and look like they're ready to fall apart and rot. And then you have this old two by eight or something and it's covered with algae so you'll go ass over kettle into the drink as my grandmother would say. Over on this side we're looking at the Three Rivers Zone and this is the Jones River heading towards Kingston Bay. It's nice and placid. Water's very clear. And all in all, it's pretty impressive. So this segment would go up towards Barnabas Mill Lane were it not for whatever conflict occurred that prevented the whole thing from ever happening. So this is like a cul-de-sac, but an interesting one nonetheless. Now we'll follow it back to the parking lot and do what we can to map out one of several versions of the Bay Circuit Trail that seem to be a part of this place. And as we head back, you can tell it has the look of something that hasn't been checked in a while. Here's a Bay Circuit basic blaze, sort of lost in the thicket. So they intended to come through here at some point, and you all of a sudden go through this tunnel of overgrowth and stuff, and it's apparently a kind of little causeway they must have made maybe long ago when this was cranberry bogs or who knows what. But as things go Bay Circuit wise, this is one of the more elusive and mysterious places. It's important to stress that back there is a cul-de-sac. This goes nowhere. And the role of the Bay Circuit Trail here in Hathaway is fairly obscure. The trails are just sort of on a back burner for now. <clears throat> and really I get the sense it's due to some unresolved easement business. If this be, does become the trail, and it's indicated to be on the town's open space plan map, it will be a great one. That's utterly for sure. You can see a bunch of blowdowns. We'll run into a string of them. And following that, we work our way back to the parking lot, that epicenter of confusion where several versions of the Bay Circuit vie for your attention and there's no really clear, utterly coherent, agreed upon sense of which one is which. This is what we're sorting out. So there, we've come out of second growth forest from the wetlands and that point where the trail that would be 
kind of nosedives into a thicket of easement controversy or some other unknown problem. There you see the base circuit blaze sending you thenceward. It's an interesting little tour. And here's where we came from. This would more or less go straight on. And now we're gonna go down this indicated thing, which also tells you to go here. So let's see what it dumps us into. It's early in the day and we have a lot ahead of us. And another blowdown. Looks like some sort of oak thing. Sharp lobed oak. And this is the way we came. And we're working our way through another blowdown. I think along a axis of west to east because I heard the train off to one side. Yeah, yeah, I just realized that. The abandoned flip-flops were the giveaway. <laughs> we're starting to discover that this was the way we came in. Again, it's like the twilight zone. Oh, and this. Here, oh, look at this. Here's a completely chewed up and mangled base circuit logo. So see, we're trying, and then this is the best. Contrast this with Andover and the quality they're in. This is kind of menacing to even navigate. It's been raining for about a day before this, so all the wood's slippery with algae. So you can <laughs> fall on your butt pretty easy. But look at this poor, sad, deranged boardwalk. Now it starts to turn into a funhouse ride. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it might just dump you in the swamp. Oh yeah, I remembered. Here you want to have one foot along that 2x4 cleat until it gets more level. And here's yet another part of the Jones River watershed. Maybe this is the mighty Jones River itself. <clears throat> Again, the information's very sketchy. Here's another chewed base circuit blaze. And then it looks like a vandalized sign. And trail goes this way. Oh, and this is one of the best Amanita somethings, whatever it is that I've seen. This is perfect. Great color. Lots of bird life. All in all, this is an amazing place. Everything down here is amazing. It really is. It actually makes it interesting to find all this decayed trail infrastructure. It's like a challenge. Archaeology. And then, looks like we're heading this way. Someone painted some blue stuff on the tree. Don't know what it means. This is possibly a blue trail, but there's little coherent information. And it's another still segment. Older pine, small pine underneath, probably doomed. 
some oak. This is more or less the second growth zone. Ever more parking lot word. So we came from this way, pretty sure. Don't quite know what this does. Because again, it's not very well explained. And Harry and Mike are heading back to the parking lot along the Blue Blaze Trail, which also isn't coherently tied to anything. It's just the Blue Blaze Trail. And we're essentially doing kind of a loop around a forest road and see where this ends up coming out. Some blue jays off there. Everything around here looks eerily familiar, but it may or may not be. Hence, the twilight zone. This is my third visit to this particular place. I haven't even seen this trail system before, so it warrants exploration. And I'll create some useful material about it. Ah, and here's the key to the mystery of Hathaway from my first trip. We just came down this, which is pretty clearly like an old carriage fire access road. It's meant to handle the width of motor vehicles. And it eventually connects with the part of what was to be the Bay Circuit Trail, but it appeared to have run into some kind of easement quarrel. This looks north. And this is where I originally came from when I got lost here, like back in July or whatever, early August. And I came up this slope and I went down there over by Harry and Mike. 